The features inside a feature set are now fully parameterized. This enables us to access those parameters within a macro and to use them as we'd like. Let me start by showing you a very simple example. On the screen I've got a model with some hole features. The simple example I'm going to show you first is simply going to loop through each one of those features within the feature set and analyze the diameter, the depth, the top, the draft angle, etc. It's then going to pop up a message to the user informing us of those values. Let's just take a quick look at the macro. If I just edit that macro. So, the first thing we're going to do is just to create a new variable, a string variable with nothing in it. Uh, this is going to be it's going to eventually contain the message that we print out to the user but we're going to build this message throughout this loop. So this is the start of a loop where we loop through each feature within the feature set. That's exactly what this will do. $f is simply my own variable name. Now the feature has got a number of uh, subparameters. This is dot name, which is the name of the feature. Dot type tells us if it's a boss, a slot, a pocket, or a hole. Uh, the top and bottom are the z values of the top and bottom. The depth is the distance from the top to the bottom. The diameter is obvious, and the draft is the draft angle. Um, we also have the axis. Now you'll notice I'm using print par rather than print equals for the axis and that is because the axis is stored as a vector which is what we call an array. Um, basically it's multiple numerical values so it must be stored in an array and we can't use print equals to print out the contents of an array we must use the print par command. So it will print out the name, the type, top, bottom, depth, diameter, draft and uh, the axis for each and every parameter. What it's also doing is it's building this message string which we created at the top. It's adding to the same message every time and it's adding uh, the name of the feature then a text string has a diameter of and then whatever its diameter is. And then we have a CRLF which means carriage return line feed. So it adds a new line at the end because this loop is going to go back, do the same for the second feature, add to the message, add a new line, go back, print out the values and add to the message for the third feature. Then after the end of the loop, which is this close curly bracket here, it will pop up a message using the message info function dollar message. So let's try running that macro. And there you can see it's looped through all 39 features and it's told us the diameter of each and every one of them. So let's look at a more practical macro. So this is uh, a little bit more realistic. Now one of the problems I have with this particular drilling toolpath is that some of the holes go beyond the tool axis limits. Uh, now I'm not sure how many and sometimes these toolpaths have a great deal of holes in them and I obviously can't machine it if it's below the tool axis limits. So this one looks okay but I don't want to have to go and analyze each and every one of them. So what I've got is a macro which analyzes the tool axis. It will ask me what the maximum limit is so if I just run that macro it asks me what is the maximum tilt angle for the machine tool. Now I'm going to say my machine tool can tilt to 90 degrees and no more. It's going to analyze every hole and it's told me that six features were out of limit and they have been placed into a new feature set which is a copy of the original. So let me just switch off that toolpath for a second. It's actually removed all of the holes which were out of limits and it's put them on a new feature set. Here they all are, these six holes. Now if I look at the original toolpath and I just attach the tool to one of those particular holes we can see that it is well beyond the 90 degree limit. So what I can do now is recalculate this particular toolpath using the uh, 
the original feature, sorry, not the original feature, the new feature set which the macro created and just recalculate that and now everything will be within limits. Now unfortunately I still have six holes which I have not machined but it's simply impossible to machine these six from this setup but because they're in a new feature set, here they are, I could machine them from a different setup. So that basically is just one example of why the parameterization of features uh, is a great thing for the macro writer.